I've been given the task of generating a cross-section down the center line of this access road using this red polyline as a guide. I'm going to do so by taking a slice through the point cloud five feet either side of the polyline and then drafting right down the center. Here's the process for doing that. First, I need to set up some guides so that I can make my slice five feet on either side and I'll do that just by using a CAD offset command. Type in offset, ask for a five foot offset, then I just pick my polyline, pick a side, pick my polyline, pick a side. Okay, that's done. I hit escape. Next, we're going to orient our UCS using the center polyline. So I use two points in the orientation group, turn on just my endpoint snap, snap to either end of the polyline. Now if I turn off the point cloud, you can now see how the UCS has been reorganized oriented. Next what I'm going to do is take a slice in the y-axis using this green arrow as my guide, five feet either side of what I want to be my center line. So from the slicing group I pick slice y-axis. And now again I'm just going to use the endpoint snap and I'll snap to the endpoint of that guideline. and point of that guideline. There we can see the slice now. Next, I want to draft right in the middle of this slice, so I'm going to set up a work plane on slice. Now we're set there, and if I pick elevation view and align view to work plane, now I'm looking right at that slice. Now, I can use my snaps and I can snap right to the point cloud points to draft my cross section. Um, one disadvantage with that is I don't have any control over where in the Z axis we snap to. So I may snap above the work plane one point and below the work plane another point. If I want to take control of that, I can either turn off the snaps or I can change the CAD variable OSnapZ and I can turn it on, which it already is. Now I can start drawing. Start drawing a polyline. As we're snapping, it's snapping to an XY value from my perspective right in the point cloud but the Z value, the in out towards my eye, is being set by that O snap Z value variable, or it's being set to go to the CAD variable elevation, which by default is zero. Okay, I'll stop the demonstration there. I'll right click and finish that. Now if I zoom back and I turn things on its side, now you can see it will be in working right down the middle of that road. Go back to plan view and I'll delete those that original center polyline and now you can see where the cross-section polyline has been drawn.